Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't been posting here in forever and you might be asking yourself, Jakob, why is that? I'll let you know, that's a topic for another time. Today I will let you know that I am taking a slight U-turn. I have shifted gears and now this has turned into a Christian YouTube channel. Yeah, isn't that fun? If you're not a Christian, I hope you'll still stick around and watch my videos. Because who knows, maybe you will put your faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for your sins and my sins. Then you will get saved and I will see you in heaven. I would like that, wouldn't you? Anyways, back to the topic of today's video. I'm calling the international Christian community to pray for Norway. You might be thinking, why is that Jakob? Norway is such a rich and blessed country. But is it though? From a biblical point of view, Norway is doing some pretty dark stuff, in my opinion. Quick disclaimer here guys, I'm not a politician. I'm not trying to become a politician, but I'm observing what Norway is doing through biblical lenses. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go to our next point here. Okay, you're probably sick and tired of hearing about this, so why should you continue listening? Well, because I'm going to make two points, okay? But the first point is important for the second point to make sense. So please listen to both of them. So the first point is, after Hamas went rampage and killed a lot of Israeli on October 7th, Israel started their retaliatory strikes, and they've been doing that for quite some time now. They want to destroy Hamas, but in the process, of course, a lot of civilians has died, there's been so much destruction, and the Norwegian population have really been devastated by all the images that we have seen from the war. Okay, you might be thinking, but Jakob, that's okay, we're all devastated from this. Yes, that is devastating, but Norway has been condemning Israel for their every move in this war. We have a really bad balance in the way our media is covering this, Therefore, we have seen a big rise in anti-Semitism and violent uh, demonstration against Israel. This I don't think is very good when the Bible does tell us that those who curse Israel shall be cursed by God, those who bless Israel shall be blessed by God. I want my country to be blessed by God and I, therefore I think my country should bless Israel. Does that mean that we need to approve of their every move? No, of course not, but condemning Israel's every single move and then calling for boycotts and then doing violent demonstration and seeing a rise in anti-Semitism without really doing a lot about it? I think that goes more towards the whole cursing Israel thing. From a biblical point of view, that's dangerous. Okay, so now that you've finally listened to my whole first point, I'll take you to my second point, which is why I'm calling for prayer, okay? So the second point is, in a parallel process to Norway condemning Israel's every move, specifically for the amount of unintentional killing of children in Gaza, Norway is now debating bringing up a new law that will increase the legal period of which a pregnant woman can take an abortion. That means killing unintentionally tension a baby a norwegian baby so we have usually been allowed to do this up until the 12th week in a pregnancy but now i want to increase it that women can kill norwegian babies intentionally up until the 18th week of a pregnancy guys for me this is very hypocritical it's very illogical and it's very demonic why can i say that well, because we're condemning and attacking and boycotting and doing violent demonstration against Israel for killing babies in Gaza, but we're literally making it easier to kill babies in Norway. I think that is demonic. Therefore, I'm calling for people to pray for Norway. So why is that? Well, the Bible says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So this is not a human thing. This is a demonic thing. Norway has went away from God, and what is following along? Well, demonic logic is following along. So guys, if you please want to consider this, bow your head, close your eyes, join me in this prayer for Norway. Maybe after watching this video, you're like, hey, my country also needs prayer. Maybe you should pray for your country too. Make a similar video like mine. Gather people. Pray, guys. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that we can gather in the name of Jesus Christ, your son that died for all of our sins. 
thank you that when we repent of our sins and when we seek you, you are graceful and merciful and you forgive us. But Father God, we need to see our own sin in order to repent. So Father God, I pray for your mercy and grace upon the country of Norway, upon the leaders of Norway, that you shall fill our country once again with the fear of the Lord, that you shall once again reveal to us the sin that we are doing, reveal to us the bad fruit that we are going to harvest from condemning and cursing in what I think is cursing Israel anyways, and from the increasing legalization of killing Norwegian babies. God, I pray for your mercy. Will you show the Norwegian leaders the darkness that are inviting into our country from going further away from you? In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Will you bless everyone who is watching this video, who is listening to this? Will you fill them with strength today? Will you fill them with your power and might? In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, thank you. If you agree to my prayer, you can say in Jesus' mighty name, amen and hallelujah. And I hope I'll see you in an upcoming video, okay? If you like this video, you can, of course, like it. And you can also subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this, okay? Have a blessed day, guys.